Aaron McClure, I want you to come. Would you just come? I want you to just come stand right here, would you? Because I'm going to illustrate this point. And I want us to, I want our ushers to come if they, they will go ahead. and Come on up, just come on up here. Go ahead, come on guys, let's, let's prepare. We're going we're gonna to have uh, communion this morning. And boy, this is a passage of scripture I can't hardly wait to share with you because it's, it just, you know, it just knocked my hat in the creek. Can you listen and, and, and get your communion too? Aaron McClure, uh, you, you guys, you and Terry have been coming here about a year, right? Just over a year. Aaron's had a call of God on his life. And he went through a period of time, I want to tell you, where he was deceived. He was in great delusion. He was at a place of indecision. Now, I, we don't have time to talk about all of that, but it's past anyway. But I want you to know, Aaron, he came through that. Aaron and Terry have been driving from Arkadelphia here to this church because of what you bring and what he needed. He needed healing. He needed a word of wisdom. And he came to this church and he sat there in the pews. I enjoyed him being there just as I watched some of you today. You, you, you've been blessing me because of your... I tell you, it's just wonderful to see people. You know, my grandmother always loved to see us eat. And I loved, as I sat there and watched many of you, I loved to see you eat the Word of God. And that's exactly what Aaron did. But you know what? Aaron comes from, uh, when we talk about styles and things, uh, he, he just loves to worship God. He, he just loves to worship. And I mean, he would excite me when I'd say something. He'd jump up and he'd run around the building. I'm thinking, whoo, praise God. But he was in the process of being healed. He and Terry both. He's got a call on his life. Just recently, uh, in fact, the reason he hadn't been here on Sunday morning is because he'd been preaching. He'd been preaching at a church in Warren, been going down there filling in week after week. And uh, Terry, why well, don't you to come as well? Would you come? And uh, he talked to me. It's not Assembly of God Church. Uh, he carries credentials with the Assemblies of God. And uh, the church, uh, if you've ever heard him preach, he's a preaching machine. I mean a preacher. And the church wanted him to try out and be their pastor. And now he was in a, as Paul called it, a straight betwixt two. He don't know exactly what to do, but here's what I told him. I said, what is God saying to you? All right? What's God saying to you? He said, I believe God is calling me to pastor that church. You got to go, uh, go with God's word and not with man's word. Are you listening? God's word supersedes every denomination, every word of man. And he's a young man. He got a career. I mean, he, he could go just about anywhere and, and preach. But he said, I said, what is God telling you? When his wife encouraged him. They decided to submit themselves to, be the, to, to, to go and, and go through the process. I want to tell you, it hadn't been an easy process. Weeks on end, it's been tough. He's faced some, he's faced some challenges. You know what he did? He submitted to authority. He submitted to the wisdom of God because he asked me what he should do about his credentials. And I said, I said, you know what? You need to listen to God. I love the Assemblies of God. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm glad I'm a card carrying member of the Assemblies of God and have been for, for over 30 years. Since 1979. But you know what? You've got to obey God. And he was in he was in a place of decision. Are you hearing me? But his worship was right. He got his relationships right. And God brought his purpose right. Can I tell you, last Wednesday night, two Wednesday nights ago, they voted him in as the new pastors of the church in Warren, Arkansas.
I'm telling you, God can do it. You say, well, that's a preacher. No, I, I know. God's, okay, Cain. I'm jealous of my brother because you accepted that and you're not accepting me. I want every person that you're trying to make a decision this morning, I'm going to ask you to get up out of your pew and I want you to come stand right here. You're trying to make a decision. You're, that you're in a place of indecision right now. I want you to stand. Come quickly, hurry. You're in a place of, nobody's going to come. Here we go. You place a decision. I want everybody to stand if you would. If you made a decision to follow Christ, if you made a decision to follow Christ this morning, I want you to join us as well. You raised your hand, you prayed that prayer, and you meant it. I want you to come as well this morning. I want you to join us as we are here to have communion together. I want you to join us. You prayed that prayer this morning, you meant it, and you asked Christ to be your Lord and Savior. I'm going to get very I'm going to get right down to the nitty-gritty right now. You ready? Can you tell me 100% your worship is right? Can you tell me for 100% your relationships are right? Can you tell me 100% that your purpose is right? If you're struggling in any of those areas in your worship, in your relationship, or in your purpose, I want you to come down. I want to tell you the same God that did this for them is the same God that will do it for you. You know what? Aaron didn't know I was going to do this. In fact, I didn't know I was going to do it until just a few minutes before when I saw the service. I started thinking about this sermon. I said, oh, dear God, you're awesome. How you've worked this out. Because, you see, they're the new pastors. They, they went there to their church the very first Sunday. But he said to this church, would y'all please release me because I want to go back to Russellville First Assembly of God and they want to be in service one more time with us and I want to pray over them and listen I believe listen I believe pastor you're a seed for people this morning I need somebody to give me a microphone if you would you're a seed now listen I mean knows that when God plants a seed there's going to be a good harvest you might want to come down now that you know that he's about to water this thing. Now, I want to show you something. God is not against you. God is for you. I'm going to show you something you can preach. Okay? Now, if you already heard it, then just appease me a little bit. I found something in this scripture I hadn't seen before. How many of those we usually go right to judgment instead of going to grace? I want to show you something. This is powerful stuff. In the fourth chapter, you remember? God, I mean, he got angry at God. And listen, here's God in his grace and mercy. Here's what God says to him. He said, he said to Cain, if you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not well, watch this. He says, sin lies at the door. How many knows we go south right there? Well, I just read this week uh, uh, a commentary by Barnes he said this he said that word sin is not what we're thinking that word sin is, is a sin offering right there in his sin God says look it'll be okay because I will supply a sin offering you can't do it but I'm about to supply a sin offering if you will accept it I'll supply I want to tell you friend that we can't do anything about our sin but God says I have supplied a sin offering for you (laughs) Woo! glory to God I'm telling some people around this altar this morning oh you're about to get it you're about to get it God's going to show up and show out in your life. He's going to. I want you this morning, now, Pastor, what I want you to do, we're going to lift up both the cup and the bread. And I just want you to pray as God would have you to pray this morning. We'll do it. Just hold up the bread and the cup as he prays this morning.
God, that your word has brought us together. Lord, that you're faithful. Yes. God, that you've never failed us. That your name is faithful. Yes. Though we fail you, your name is faithful. Yes. You're that which was and which is and is to come. I'm thankful, God, that you're here right now. Yes. God, we thank you for grace. For where sin did abound, grace abounds much more. God, we pray for much more. God, I thank you for the ministry of this church, this pastor, this leadership. But God, I pray for much more. God, let the grace of Jesus Christ abound for much more. God, for the days and weeks and years ahead. God, as we step into purpose and plan and preparation for the provision of God. Lord, I pray for an outpouring of your spirit. God, for much more because of your grace that abounds. Lord, every sin, God, that hinders people in this building today. God, I pray that your grace would cover and they would walk out of here in much more. God, no longer confusion, no longer complexities, and no longer problems and delusion but today that they'll walk out right now because you are a God of grace much more abounds because you're on the throne God let us walk God let us worship let us worship you. Yes, Lord. God, let confusion yes, be dissipated Lord. in all yes. our lives today. Yes, as we worship you, as we honor you with our relationship. Yes, Lord. And we worship you. Thank you. God, Lord. and we walk into our purpose. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you lift up these? Hallelujah. Today the Lord has made provision for you. He's going to heal relationships. He's going to heal your worship. He's going to give you purpose. It's all right here in the body and in His blood. It's all here. Would you take the bread? Would you take the cup? The cup of blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Cloud of confusion, you've got to go. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now upon Aaron and Terry. God, we believe they're seed. They're going out from us. You've brought them here. You've healed them. You've restored them. And Lord, you've got them on purpose. You've got them on point. And you've raised them up in these last days to do mighty exploits for the kingdom of our God. So Lord, we lay hands on them. God, as, as Lord, their authority. Lord, as they're covering today, and send them out with Holy Ghost anointing. And Lord, we believe that there's seed this morning. You said there would be seed time and there would be harvest. And God, I believe there's somebody even in this room that's experiencing the very things that this couple has experienced. But God, you're speaking to them just as though we, uh, they and I were speaking together. But because of this seed, Lord, you're going to do the miraculous in their life. And you're going to restore. And you're going to send them forth. And around this altar today, God, as we have sown this this seed, it's going to come up. And it's going to bring forth a wonderful harvest of worship, of relationship, and purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah.